Well, as we've seen early on in, this, in our discussions together, the shortest distance between two points, if you want to find that, is the length of the straight line. And in fact, I can, I can sort of illustrate that for you right now. You know, if you take two points, one here and one here, this is the straight line distance between them. And in fact, if you want to try an interesting little virtual experiment, which is sort of fun to try, I mean, just take the two points as Lee's fingers here and look at the straight line distance. Can you visually see that straight line? If you just use your imagination, you can actually see it with your imagination. And look what happens as I move. Can you see the line changing? Gets shorter, gets longer. Virtual reality, folks, right here. If you're watching really carefully, you can see it's sort of neat. Shortest distance, always a straight line. Or is it? Is the shortest distance always a straight line? It turns out that the answer actually is no. Shortest distance is not always a straight line. And you don't have to look too far for an example. In fact, you only have to look at our own world, which is the, the world of the sphere. So in fact, here is a copy of, of the world right here. And you see, if you want to actually go from, let's say, Williamstown, Massachusetts down to Sydney, Australia, say, well, the shortest distance actually would not be a straight line, but it actually would be this curved, this curved path over here. That curved path is actually part of a circle. It's the circle that goes through Sydney, Australia, Williamstown, Massachusetts, and whose center is the very center of the Earth. These are called great circles, or sometimes geodesics. And it turns out that um, you probably have already traveled along these things if you've ever taken a, a plane ride, because in fact, uh, pilots love to go on geodesics. These are the shortest paths, and they love fuel. So they want to conserve fuel as much as possible, and so they usually fly along the shortest distance, which is this part of a great circle. And geometry of the sort, geometry where shortest distances aren't lines, but in fact circles or other things, are called non-Euclidean geometry, but who cares? The point is that shortest distance isn't always, isn't always a straight line. Now, I know what you're saying. You're saying, well, sure, okay, shortest distance isn't a straight line, but that's because this thing is curved. It's round, right? I know that's what you're saying. So what I'd like now is to get a volunteer from the studio audience. Let's see if I have, oh, I have a volunteer right here. Want, want, want to come up here? This is great. This is great. And, and what is your name, sir? My name is Jeffrey Dan. Jeffrey Dan. Yes, it is. I see. And what do people call you? Um, Jim. I see. Jim. Jim. And have we met before? Never. Well, actually, this is our technician here, folks, right here in the studios. And he's here to help us out. But we haven't rehearsed this at all. And this is all true. True. That's all true. OK, good. Now, did you, did you see that, by the way, that the shortest distance here is part of this uh, great circle? Yes, I did. Yes. And so, of course, but the circle's round, so it's not that interesting, right? True. Yeah. So let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that right now. OK. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so get rid of that. And instead, <laughs> live video, folks, right here, real video. Instead, what I did was I actually made something to show you and my video virtual student over there. And it's a, it's a room, actually. And let me show you this room. Let me move these things here. 